I absolutely hate these guys. One of the things I absolutely hate about YouTube fitness is how you've been so intermingled with food videos in terms of the 10,000 calorie challenges, the 20,000 calorie challenges. All of those type of videos have nothing to do with fitness. Regardless if you do cheat days, you should not be eating at any point realistically 10,000 calories in a sitting. How this got intermingled with YouTube fitness and stuff like that is because the views it gets is just insane. And now it's got to the point where it's almost the norm in fitness. If you wanna try and create a viral video, for the most part, you go sit down and eat a whole bunch of junk food even though your channel's about maintaining a balanced and healthy lifestyle. And I'm gonna tell you a spoiler alert, right? A lot of these people don't actually eat the food. I can tell you firsthand, like when I tried doing those food challenging videos, trying to get views years back, when I say I met some of these people, like I kind of know like a friendship basis, and they were saying to me, how come you couldn't finish it? I went, I just, I just couldn't eat that much food, man. I just felt like I was gonna be sick. And they literally told me like more than one, this is multiple people, Said they didn't eat all that food in one sitting. They literally filmed like say 3,000 calories on day one, another 4,000 calories on day two, and then they finished it on the other one. And what they did was just put on the same COVID so they can really make sure that the video looks fluid. So they're not even eating all that food. And some of them are big ones I know as well. I'm not gonna spill the tea and say their names, but I will say that. For those of you that love watching food videos, just know that some of them are fake. Not all of them, but I would say keep that in mind. You can't eat how they eat because you know, honestly a lot of them don't eat that way themselves. The next one keeping to YouTube is this guy right here. I absolutely hate this guy, V Shred. Literally since quarantine, he has boosted his ads on YouTube to the point where no matter what video I watch on YouTube, one of his stupid ads comes up where he's trying to convert you into buying some of his plans or his supplements and he's so annoying because literally this, is, this will be the video, hey, I bet to lose weight, you thought you had to watch what you eat and exercise. No, that's not the case. It's literally a whole bunch of BS, but he pitches it every single day on YouTube with ads misleading like the naive base. So yeah, I absolutely hate him and people like him that just sell ads of, of crap. Like if you have ads but the stuff that you're selling is actually good, fair enough, more power to you. Next up in regards to what things I hate about fitness is the way it's perceived by normal people. And when I mean that, I just mean regular people that don't work out or anything like that. Fitness is highly looked down upon, which is bizarre in itself. For example, you know how many times like, someone at work asks me what I've done, done over the weekend? If I ain't done anything special, chances are I probably went to the gym, right? But I will purposely not say that I went to the gym because in their head, they're gonna think, oh God, he's always working out, he's always exercising, he's always looking after his body, which it should be a good thing, but they'll see it as a bad thing. However, they won't care if I tell them that I went for a beer virtually every single day of the week. And I do think this one is the most bizarre because realistically, fitness should be held up on a pedestal. It doesn't need to be like bodybuilding because a lot of regular people think when they think fitness that you're trying to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, which isn't the case. But in general, all I can say is that I hate the fact that it is perceived as a negative. Like, they'd rather you literally talk to them about drinking beer in the pub every single day than you probably referring to you exercising. All right, let's end with the one that I'm almost saying a lot of you probably hold time, probably said first, which is people that take supplements, AKA steroids. Gotta say it quiet in case YouTube picks it up and then flag my video. Personally, I don't hate the individuals that do take it because it's just, it's their body. I really don't care. But I will say for those of them that, that are taking these steroids, because I help them kind of get super lean and shredded and they don't claim that they do they say oh, I'm more natural I do all in the gym I just eat good whatever they are going to motivate people to get into the gym and exercise however that person looking at them thinking I want to attain that physique naturally because they did it even though they didn't steroids so it's making people have false hope that is misleading the following so people are like training pushing stuff trying to look like them natural when they're not even maintaining that physique that they have naturally themselves. And then even worse, if you're someone that is in the fitness realm as in, you know, an influencer or a personal trainer, people are coming to you with pictures of people that are on steroids going, I want to look like that. It's things like that that makes it kind of more difficult for someone that's in the actual fitness industry. For example, I believe I'm in fairly good shape for a normal person, right? However, if you was to put me on an Instagram feed with a bunch of other people that use other stuff, steroids, they look trillions times better than me right you know what i mean there's some that are natural that still are better than me too but in regards to the overwhelming amount of people on there a lot of them are on stuff which make them look a lot better which means that you can't almost compete in the same realm so i would say i really hate the people that aren't natural that say they are just giving out a false representation on what the physique can look like naturally it kind of just puts that into the world like these fake bodies that people cannot attain 
just training and eating with a good diet because you need certain added help to get to that steroid, steroid, steroid. Anyways, people, that was four of the things I hate the most about fitness. Feel free to comment down below what things you may hate that I've missed off the list or I don't personally hate myself, but you do. Write them down below and let me know if you agree with any of the things I actually did put on my list. Because you never know, it's interesting to see other people's perspective. For all I know, you may be happy with some of the things that I mentioned, so feel free to dispute me.